You 
you have an annual work plan in place. And then of course you must, if the annual work plan can also, normally people confuse between the performance contract and annual work plan. For me again, performance contract and annual work plan are almost the same. The difference is that for the performance contract, you negotiate. You negotiate with the, the, the respective leadership so that then you will say as an institution that we promise to deliver on these targets as a ministry, as a, a, a state department, or as an agency. But an unwork plan is derived from the strategic plan. We are all aware of that, ladies and gentlemen. And then of course, in the short term, we have the Rapid Results Initiative, or sometimes it is used interchangeably as Rapid Results Approach, RRA. And this one normally takes 100 days or less to deliver. Good morning. Good morning. Are we together? So uh, then, uh, as we move moving forward, uh, uh, normally in government, private sector, and civil society organizations, implementation of our work plan is normally very tight. 50% of projects fail to achieve their objectives. More often than not, 50% of projects fail to achieve their objectives. However, the 75% of those projects come in over budget and or behind shape. Go and do your mathematics in your respective institution and you realize that unless you are doing things, everybody else is doing their work right at the right time, you realize that this is the scenario. Let's move on. <clears throat> Why is implementation tough? Because one, sometimes the goal is in a distant future, and people are not able to relate the goal from now, and they want to achieve it in the next probably six months. But when it's, you are just talking about 90 or 100 days, more or less about three, uh, three months, then the goal moves almost near. Another implementation reason why it's tough is because we are being too busy with too many things. Oh, you have to go to Kisumu, you have to be here for budgeting, you have to be there. You... So having too many things, right? being too busy with too many things, all of it is one of the reasons why implementation of our unlike or of our workplace becomes tough. <coughs> Sometimes we may leave tasks ill-defined and vague. All the time, as governments, as private sector, as other civil society organizations, we must ensure that we leave all tasks defined and not vague. Let every officer uh, know what they need to do, when, where, and how, and where the resources will be carried from. <coughs> Sometimes we don't make it clear who is in charge. Sometimes everybody is in charge. You cannot have everywhere where everybody is in charge. However, we also remember that leadership abhors Hello. Leadership abhors vacuum. Where there is a vacuum, some human beings will come in and take over leadership. True or not true? So in RRI, or in government, or private sector, or civil society organization, you must ensure that there is someone in charge. If you don't put someone in charge, then that project is likely to fail. Everybody will be in charge. And when everybody is in charge, it becomes like a, an animal farm. Where some animals are equal, others are more equal than others, others don't do anything. Sometimes we make things very complex and interdependent. That procurement must be there with finance, with, I don't know, every other person who has. You must ensure that things are not made complex. Let's simplify, process, uh, let's not have too many processes. Let every officer do their job timely and within the framework that you agreed on. RRI does not look at processes, it looks at results. How do, we, how do we overcome implementation barriers? If we were actually coming in as, as leadership orientation, then I'd be having a team of about 30, 35, at most 50, and then we'll be able to have a tennis ball game, and we'll see how we can overcome those barriers. <coughs> we share the tennis ball from moving it from one person to the next and to the next and see how long does that ball move from one person to the last person 
depending on, you may all be 10 officers in one per group, but how you move a tennis ball from one person, three tennis ball from the first person to the last person, determines how long you will finish. <coughs> this will, one, one of these days, the director and the team, we will we only have time to just demonstrate that. However, I still explain how we will overcome those barriers. <coughs> I would like one person, please, I request just a volunteer. We are all adults and we are all interested to learn from one another. One person print for us what is there. <coughs> or let's try and read together. Finish files are the result of years of scientific study combined with the experience of years. We'll repeat. Finish five as the result of years of scientific study combined with the experience of years. Can you say how count how many F's from wherever you are? How many F's can you see in that text? Someone can see how many? Three, another can see five, another can see four. Another can see. I'm interested to know one who has seen six. By a job hand, please. By a job hand, who saw six? Arnold has seen six. There's another picture of the left there, has also seen six. Okay, let's move to the next page. <coughs> next slide. It was wrong. There are only six. Six F's in that statement. It's not even a job. We will read it again. However, before you go reading it, remember that the brain cannot process off. The brain cannot process, oh, it's incredible. Oh, wow. Go back and look again. How do we go back? Anyone, just move, let's move forward. Anyone, back. Anyone who counts all six F's, that's why I was interested in the six. On the first go, he's a genius. Aha, three is just normal. However, those who, fall, who saw four, it's quite rare. <coughs> Finished. That's one. Eh? Five. Oh. Oh. Scientific. Ah, six. six. Oh. Six. Six. Thank you very much. It says, finished. Five are the result of years of scientific study combined with experience of years. This one clearly tells us that even when we have our work plans, sometimes we may have gaps particularly if we do not accommodate every other person's contribution in implementation of that work plan. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you very much. Let's move on. So we have geniuses in the room. We have people who are quite normal. We have those who are quite rare. But we also have geniuses, and I can see them. Whatever you are, keep smiling. But if you are normal, it's also good. <laughs> Let's move on. Who can count the little black balls? These are some of the integration of the I'm very sure that we can see the little black balls there. But I'm also sure that they keep turning white, black, white, black, white, black. True or not true? Thank you. Let's move on. That one tells you that implementation can be a problem. Sometimes we may have gaps without necessarily knowing them, but if you are, you are moving together as a team, it is easier to identify the, the gaps. And this works in government, private sector, and civil society organizations, and even at family level. <coughs> the approach is an RBM tool, as I said earlier on. It is designed to help avoid implementation challenges that we've just seen. A resource focused learning methodology. This RRI is an action learning methodology. What RRI does is jumpstart major organizational change efforts where everyone participates. How does it work? Uh, it, we normally create a temporary governance structure. We have a team empowered to break down long term goals into 100 days. That's why we look at the, uh, the annual work plans. And we break them down into 100 days resource commitments, which we call RRI, and develop our work plan to realize that the goal. <coughs> we normally have a clear beginning and a clear end. We know it's 100 days or less. In Kenya, the shortest RRI took 25 days. And it was under the Ministry of Migration about four years ago, four or five years ago. Uniquely defined goal, normally the goal that you have is highly ambitious, 
yet achievable, managed by high visibility, driven by committed and a diverse team. You have economists, you have uh, people in finance, you have HR professionals, you have secretaries there, the clerks, the clerical team, and you have even the senior most people, the principal secretary as a sponsor, the cabinet secretary as a political leader. You have all, everyone is involved. It's driven by a community that diversity and to achieve higher level of performance. The coach, if you are a coach like myself and you are a coaching an RRI team, the responsibilities of a coach include helping the strategic leader clarify rapid resource opportunities within strategic focus area, help strategic leaders shape and execute Challenge to the RRI team leader, lead RRI team work plan workshop, ensure that team goal and work plan are clear and powerful. And also ensure that we help team leaders plan effective meet team meetings, coach strategy leader, team leader, members to optimize on energy and participation, of course, facilitate the midpoint and wrap up reviews and find, uh, clarify for the actions, work with the team leader, and of course, the strategy leader to plan uh, expansion of RRI achievements, what we call uh, scaling up. Normally, general governance structure in the Kenyan scenario, the political leader is the cabinet sector. But again, for the sake of Kenyan devolved system, the political leader there is the governor and supported by the deputy governor. The sponsor at the national level is the principal secretary. At the devolved system at county level, normally is the county secretary. Uh, they are my coach. We have the resource leader, the person who will charge the response to ensure that the results actually get achieved. Strategic leader, team leader, and team members. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that in our right, there is no delegation. You don't say, he will represent me. You take your responsibilities. Are we clear, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you very much. We will not go into this. Uh, let's move forward. Those are all that we can read this slide as we move on. We have the strategic leader, we have the, uh, the responsibility of what they need to do. Let's move on. We will also have the responsibility of our team leader. Now, a team leader, I'm interested in the team leader because he or she is the one in charge of every respective team. It could be an objective which has been made into a team. The team leader has specialized skills in that RRI focus area. If you are saying we want to build a road from point A to point B, then the team leader here is likely to be a person who understands aspects of road construction. Are we okay? Either a engineer or something like that. And uh, a team leader, go back please, is able to call and run team meetings, is able to hold members accountable, is respected amongst his or her peers, is a transformational leader. Remember I said transformational leadership is one of the tools of RPM. We have, he will be a transformative leader, is comfortable and excited about delivering on another right area, inspires the team, assists non blocking challenges, ensures team lessons and other right are documented and used. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we must ensure that we document and communicate the results, communicate what is happening. It's very important. Sometimes we do good things, but we don't let people know what good things we are doing. And I always say that. Sometimes we serve a society that does not appreciate. However, do not worry. That society will appreciate you one day. But always remember, you serve a society that does not necessarily come and say, thank you. Are we okay? But let's keep doing that. For Christians, Jesus Christ did that, and we still went ahead and rewarded him with crucifixion. You know? Team members understand the skills area, they have to work during their hundred days. Team composition, you normally have. Relevant staff from the Ministry of State Department, or county departments, stakeholders should be from private sector, development partners, ministry, other ministries, and county governments, and stuff like that. Let's move on. What we can, what we gain in RRI is that our rapid results initiatives have three benefits, very critical. One, improved performance results. Two, new ways for accomplishing and sustaining results, skills, and confidence to scale up initial results. Those are the gains. I like case studies highlighted so in this presentation. Just move on. This we will we will have a look at some. Those case studies I'm talking about are uh, you look at how from where Never College was 10 years ago, have a nice picture how it was like 10 years ago, and you look at how it is today. So in RRI, 
you are looking at the project you want to implement. Take this Photoshop, photographs of how it is now, and then as we move on, you keep taking those photos. And that's why I'm sure we have people here taking photographs and videos just to show how we are starting today and how we shall then be ending. There should be a linkage, connectivity or network way so that we can connect from point A to point B. So those questions are important. Let's move back. <coughs> team one, right team one. Remember that a few harmless flex of flex working together can unleash an avalanche of destruction. We know those, <coughs> we all know those uh, harmless flex. Sometimes it's uh, in the West. Some people have struggled. That's why I always thank God that we are in Africa. Sometimes the waste becomes too cold until you now start working on ice and that ice has to be cleaned every morning before vehicles can move or before people can even move. It happens in other countries, right? But those flags or those ice, when they, they come together, they can cause serious destruction. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we remember the great Titanic. Right? Hello? You want me to, be, to behave like a musician doing like this? Hello? Do we remember the Titanic? That huge ship. We remember it, right? What really caused that accident? Yeah? An iceberg. An iceberg, right? An iceberg caused the Titanic to actually crash and sink. But what, what brings these icebergs together? What's iceberg? It's almost just water that is frozen, isn't it? Yes. Now you can imagine that water is put together, becomes ice, is along the way, and the Titanic comes, knocks it, crashes, and sinks. And almost everybody dies, a few survive, and they come to retell the story of the Titanic. Are we together? Uh, so, the Titanic went down, it was brought down by mere water. Water that the Titanic wrote, an ice, but a stone of water. Now, that's what I'm explaining there. So when we are a team, and we hold each other's hand, we can do wonders. When we work together in partnership, government, private sector, the citizens themselves, civil society organizations, we can do so much because we share in the experiences and expertise of one another. Come on. Why does that really work? When we set clearly, when we set a really challenging goal that forces groups to think outside the box. Sometimes the idea of thinking outside the box to me does not make sense. What I do, I always say, why can't we just place the box very far and start thinking freely? So that we become creative, very innovative, and we're able to move forward. Hey, back to this. We have certain stretch goals rather than seemingly impossible goals, encourages innovation and motivation. We have a Bumwazi the King and the Donkey. I'm sure many of us have heard about a Bumwazi the King and the Donkey. Uh -huh. I will tell you the story of a Bumwazi. <coughs> The king and the donkey. I'm sure some of us know the story of Abu Nuwas, eh? You know Abu Nuwas, the king and the donkey, there was a story about someone who was supposed to be killed. And of course, Abu Nuwas was the one, the, the culprit. So they made a deal with the king. I do not understand uh, the mistakes of uh, Abu Nuwas, but he was given an assignment. I would like you to give me an opportunity to teach you. To give me an opportunity to teach your donkey how to how to to talk in ten years. So Abu Nuwas was to be killed. I'm just shortening the story. So he asked the king, please give me an opportunity to teach your donkey how to talk in ten, ten years. And of course, you know the results. The likely results you know. That in 10 years, the donkey may, may die before 10 years elapse, right? In 10 years, the king may also die 
In 10 years, I've been watching the same man that at least one of them is likely to happen. And therefore, I've been watching the streets away. And the status quo will be maintained. Let's move on. We will tell that story another time. Let's move on again. All right, focus on results, not processes. Move on. There's always need to have persistence. It's all man, let her go. Let us all play the four by four hundred meters relay. When I ran my show, I gave some, get someone the button and you move on and you move on and you move on. And we keep achieving and achieving. We help one another. Let's move on. Let's move on, please. From reforms to championing transformation, I have two minutes to finish. Let's move on again. There are challenges that we need to be dealt with. Let's move. You need to have a vision and mission statement. You need to have a quality policy. Let's move. This is a, a place we have come from far as Kenya. Kenya as a country. This was the main street, the main avenue sector in Nairobi. Let's move. I'm sure Kenyans will want to ask themselves, which street is this? But because I do not want, want us to, to strain ourselves, let's move and see which street that is. That is the present day Kenyatta Avenue in 2008. That's how it looked like. The other one, go back. This is how it was in the 60s. Not even the 60s. He, he, before 60s, that's how Kenyatta Avenue looked like. Eh? Okay. And you know that building is still there. Let's move, please. So, transformation. Let's move again. Let's move. Uh, let's move. That's it, hold, let's move. Uh, are they straight line or curves? Thank you. They could be curves, they could be straight lines, but those are integration risks that you need to take care of when you are trying to implement your work plan. So let's think through. Move on, please. Are they circles or coin? When you look at it, it's a coin, it's a circle. Those are integration risks. You must always look at gaps within your programs. Let's move on. One person read, or oh, let's read together this one. But there is hope. When you read between the lines, let's start. I could not believe that I could actually understand what I was reading. The phenomenal power of the human mind. According to a research at Cambridge University, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is that the first and the last letter be in the right place. The rest can be a total mess. <laughs> and you can still read it fully yeah, it without a problem. This is because the human mind does not read every letter by itself, but the word as a whole. Amazing, huh? Yeah. And how does thought spread the most important? Hello? <laughs> Good morning. Now, when we are having work plans in government, in private sector, in all other places, it means everything is possible. It can be done when we work as a team, when we appreciate everyone's knowledge, skills, talents, innovation, and creativity. Are we clear, ladies and gentlemen? It can work anywhere in the world, not just in Africa, anywhere. I promise you that. Let's move. As we finish, let's move again. Let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Our villages, hunger, disease, lack of housing, poverty, ignorance. But we are moving on that transformation journey where we have citizen in focus. We have a great transformation, and the bus is taking us to a vision 2030 as Kenya economic prosperity, food security, water for all security, and all that we have. That's the desire, the situation we have as a country, as Africans, and as Africa. Let's move forward. That's a plan, eh? inside the plane, so you must focus on where you're heading to. Let's move again, move. Just move, just move. Keep moving. The journey that we have is that you must do a capacity. <coughs> hey, hey, bye. You must do a capacity scan. You must be able to develop interventions. You must be able to know how to do implementation. Fourth one, you must monitor and evaluate. The fifth one, you must report on results. And the last one, we must learn and adjust. Let's move. Let's move again. Again, forward, 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 forward. Now, this is a police station in Nairobi. It's the police station today, Kenya police station, central police station in Nairobi. We are hoping that it will transform into something that follows. Like that one. 
You know? Who? I police station in 25. Where when you want to go there, you even ask the police to arrest you so that you can go and just relax there. Looks <laughs> good. Let's move. Uh, finally, this is our clarion call. Do it. Put in your two pence contribution, ladies and gentlemen. Make a difference. Do not wait for anyone. Leave a legacy. Develop your country. Develop your nation. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move again. Until I say stop. Until I say stop. Let's move. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll be reading this. It's long enough, you'll be reading it at your own time. Uh, keep moving until we say stop there. This is what I was talking about, team operating plan. Let's move. In RRI, the RRI is that you are supposed to say, I do. Not, I will try. You can imagine you have a beautiful lady, you want to marry her. And you are told by the pastor, the bishop, that declare. Then you say, you, Miriam, I will try to marry you. <laughs> will she marry you? Or you tell Joseph, you, Joseph, I will try to marry you. Joseph will actually not even marry you, or Miriam and vice versa. You have to say, I do. That's all right. Clarion call. Finally. Asante sana, hudumabora ni haki yako, quality and timely service. We must be focused to remain what? Efficient professionals, ethical patriots, passionate pest setters who deliver quality and timely service to all citizens in the country and Kenya in general. And of course in Africa in general. Bye now. Thank you very much and best of luck. And God bless you.